a GoFundMe page helped raise more than $3,000 for the Congregation of New Life Community Church, which was robbed last week. Photo, Rob Goebel, Idiopolis Star, by photo. For a few days, this Christmas looked like it would be anything but merry for Pastor Patricia Brown and the congregation of around 30 people at New Life Community Church. But thanks to the quick thinking of a sports talk radio host and the generosity of people in Idiopolis, Brown says this has turned into the best Christmas ever. The church, located on the east side of the city, was broken into Thursday night. The burglars broke into the building through a side window and took clothes, food and money meant to help families in need for the holidays. They took boxes of clothes sitting in the pews, some with brand new tags on them. They broke into the refrigerator and took drinks, and broke into cabinets and took food. They smashed a collection jar on the floor, taking the bills and silver coins. They left the pennies on the floor. They really trashed the place. It took us all day Friday and Saturday morning to get it cleaned back up, Brown said. We help people all they had to do was come to us and ask. They didn't have to do that. Derek Skultz, who co-hosts Query and Skultz on WNDE Field Marshal, 97.5, in Idiopolis noticed the story on Fox 59 and was given the contact information for Brown by Fox anchor Jessica Hayes. After reaching out to Brown, he set up the Fudrasic page Saturday night with a goal of $500. Within an hour, more than $1,000 had been raised. By Sunday night, more than $3,000 had been raised. Skultz was blown away. Unreal not that any affirmation was needed, but this is a wonderful city forward slash community. httpst.co forward slash evipd1jqy This has nothing to do with me, it's about everyone pitching it and making it happen, he said. A lot of people talk about the negatives of Twitter and social media, and there are some, but I think the positives outweigh them. This is one of those where people can come together and share this message and get involved. Fifteen hours later, more than $3,000 raised on a $500 goal. httpst.co forward slash Several people reached out to Skultz about making cash donations, and one person met Brown Sunday morning with $500 so she could replace some of the stolen items in time for Christmas. The response of people and love and coming to our help has been awesome, the pastor said. We live in one of the greatest cities I know. We've been able to help more families. Thanks so much for all the RTs and donations. Also, special thanks to at BC underscore Fieldhouse for his $500 cash donation so the church could replace some stolen gifts before Christmas. Brown, who has been the pastor at New Life for four years, has been raising money and collections donations for the less fortunate for years. But this year has been unlike any other. I could help but not as many as I was able to, with the extra money, she said. That made me so happy. I've been ecstatic about it. I've seen people cry. We gave somebody a coat. The husband and wife didn't even have coats. Brown says she'll use the rest of the money to continue doing what she's passionate about helping those in need.